Hi folks, we're back at the transit van. We're gonna try and get rid of all this old rot on the back of this wheel arch. We're gonna cut it out, see you in a minute. Right, well, we're now at the stage now where we've got these seals in, as you know, along this uh, uh, side of the van and also under the driver's door. They've all been repaired underneath. So all that inner seals is all sealed up now, we know that. So I've got this lot to, to deal with now, let me show you. So as you can probably see here, it's been filled before and uh, I don't know how bad it was obviously, but that's just around this sort of area. So I don't know what to expect here. This is obviously filler here. I don't know how far up it goes, but yeah, there we go, that's just there, look. There we go, look, beating holes have just poked through there, look. There's a bit of filler there as well. So what I'm gonna, I just wanna dress this up and at least make it look decent so I can repaint it and get it all sort of looking pretty tidy. I'm not doing a refurbishment, as I've said many, many times. This is a, uh, a tidy up job, a patch up job to get the van looking pretty decent. And uh, we're just gonna cut away all this and sort of rebuild another piece of the arch. I'm not gonna replace all this arch, although there is a little bit of rot along the edge there. I'm going to tidy all that up and just sort of uh, make it look tidy and treat it with a vac tan treatment and uh, hopefully we'll sort that out. And uh, so let's start grinding back, cutting out and see what we're left with and then try to rebuild something that looks pretty similar. So I'll put you on time lapse for that and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, we've got a bit of grinding done there. Now you may ask yourself the question, when you've got one of these things in your hand, how far do you go? Well, in my case, this van isn't being restored. It's probably at the end of its uh, serviceable life, so to speak. So what we're doing is making good and we get a few more years out of this van. So all I'm looking for is a bit of a cosmetic repair, really. Uh, if you start grinding away and away and you're hitting more and more, like if all the inner wings was all broken, for example, then you know, as it's not a restoration job, it's a repair job, you'd end up patching them up as well. I'm gonna be patching this up as we know, and then we'll give a coat of body filler to recreate the shape of the wing. Now some people might, might say, well why don't you just put another new wheel arch in? Well again, that's a lot of work, and you don't really need to do that for this type of van. It's a cosmetic job. It's not a job for a customer where you're taking it to a body shop. It's a, a get by job to make the van look decent so we can use it for another couple of years maybe or probably even a little bit longer so that's what we're doing here but let me show you how far I've cut back here it's been worked on before it's been filled before so as you can see look this is the outer wing this is the inner wing there which is rusty but it's solid so I'm not gonna have to be touching that at all hopefully so there's a seam going down there a body seam there and there's rust obviously either side of it sort of thing so I'm gonna need to cut down uh, probably here somewhere this is all, all this has got, the whole pit here is gonna have to come out. Now, you could say, oh, you cut a new quarter in there, uh, put a, go down a breakers yard, cut an old, but they'll all be rusty. If the vans are this age, they're all rusty in the same places. So we're just gonna cut along here, get as much as this surface stuff out, try and recreate it, the shape, and then obviously fill it up. But as you can probably see around here, there's filler there, for example, underneath the paint. So this has been painted before. Here, for example, it's had a skim of thinner over all this, and up to there so people have obviously covered up this these rust spots before and dressed it up so we're going to be basically doing the same it's lasted for the amount of time which it was done so i'm going to get the grinding now just cut out this this bare metal there as you can see that's bright metal so that's where the main rust ends so i'll be cutting just above there and getting hopefully rid of all this surface stuff so i'm going to put you on time lapse for that get it all out of the way and then we'll take it from there
okay. I went a bit further than I wanted to go. I ended up cutting away all this inner wing there. And it can look pretty daunting because you, you've got to know where to stop. As soon as you hit decent metal, stop. Otherwise you're going to be grinding everything away. So let's give you a closer look of what I'm left with. Right, so as you can probably see here, the inner wing, this here, I've had to cut that away. That basically fell off. So I got rid of that. There's new metal there. There's new metal at the back there, or decent metal rather. Decent metal here, I've grinded the edges away. And I took that seam away, the one that ran down on the inside of the panel there. I took this side of it away, so I've got uh, to recreate that sort of groove down the middle there somehow. I'm not too sure yet, but uh, I'll get to that when I come to it. So what I'm going to start doing now is just making up little patches. Because I haven't got an idea, any idea of the shape here. And we'll try and rebuild some of that inner wing first before we actually put the patches on the outside. So I'm going to go and get some metal now and we'll get the tin snips out and the grinders. And we'll try and make some metal and start patching it back together as best we can. Right, okay, so you've got to make a start somewhere. So I've got some card. I've already cut this bit out. I'll show you how I've done that in a minute. All I've done there was hold the card sort of in there. Where that straight edge is where I put there. And pressed, held it in place basically. And just drew a line around the outside of this curve here. Cut that out and that's uh, going to go hopefully... Again, this is only a start at the end of the day, so this doesn't have to be the end shape, but uh, you'll get the idea. So that one bit there could become that inner part of the wing there, as you can see. And I could stitch another bit along here. I've got to come right out to here, you see, so this bit here has got to be sort of a curve coming in, because I've got to bring that out to there. So I might end up chopping this little bit out as well and then making one long strip to go down there if you can see what I mean so I can curve that into place so I'll leave that there for the minute but I mean we've got to start there, don't look so daunting now you put that little bit in I know it's only cardboard but that's going to give us our I'll be able to either tack along there all the way down there once it's in lots you see it's not holding properly yet and uh, that will give us our inner wheel arch up to there so to speak so I'm just going to carry on making a few more templates now maybe along here and then we'll look at stitching them in because we can always bend it once we've uh, actually made it so i'm going to cut some more out right okay that's the sort of shape anyway let's have a look as you can see all i've done is cut that out with the uh same angle grinder but smooth the edges off change the disc over and put the sanding disc in there right hold on have a look what we got here so don't forget it's got to be bent and stuff but uh right it needs a bit out of that top because this chamfer's in there i didn't realize that so that's okay there that's below the surface there so i need a bit more off of this here so i'm just grind that off right let's have a look at that bit better it still wants more out I'm gonna grind a bit more of that out if I have my tin snips here which I oh I have got a set here there we go I've lost my straight ones I don't know these these ones cut a certain angle I think we'll have a go yeah that might be all right if I can tack that into place if I get that welded into place at least I'm showing progress then so uh we can always grind things out afterwards. So let me just tack this in. And uh, then I can make the other panel up then and come down here and do what I need to do. So I'll see you in a minute. Right, before I go any further, I'm just gonna put some vac tan all in here where, where it's all gonna be covered up. And uh, try and stop that rust from spreading. So put plenty in there. We'll let that go off and then we'll do a little bit of welding. Right, let's have a go at this.
All right, it's got it going anyway. Let's have a little look. It's not it's starting to look a bit better now. Not too daunting. So uh, I'm going to carry on. Get a bit more in. I want to get this bit in here. You see, then I can get this out a bit done. So I'm going to work on that. Put a patch in here, and uh, we'll we'll take it from there. And we'll see how we go. So I'll come back to you a little bit later on when I've done a bit more. Alright, okay, I've cut the little bit out for here, just to go in there. What is handy, what would be handy, because I cut it with the same grinder, I keep changing the discs over. Now I want the flappy disc, so that I can clean the edges up on this. Some people have two grinders, one with one of these on, one with a cutting disc on. So you all right let's put this helmet down and off we go let's have a look Right, okay. I think that's good enough. Right, okay, give it a bit of a grind. So we've got some new metal in there. That'll take the skimmer filler. Happy with that. Time to move on. Right, okay, so I've come around the other side of the van now because uh, we need some sort of reference as to get this curve in here, as you know, but uh, we've got nothing left at the other side, so we can use this side here as a reference. So I know that from the bottom of the top of the seal there, then it curves under. So if I put a straight panel in here, from there upwards, and I can draw my curve in, and hopefully that will give us me a at least a, a benchmark idea as to what I need in the way of a curve. Right, so if I just cut that out. Again, gives us a guideline, that's what we're looking for, yeah? Right, so hopefully we're looking at sort of something like that, look. Yeah? That gives me pretty much the line I want there, by the looks of it. So, quite happy with that. If I can transpose this to a bigger bit of cardboard, I can take that in as well, you see. So I'm going to get a bigger bit of cardboard, transpose this a bit bigger, and then redraw it, and that will bring that up to here then, and I can work this in. So, let me go and do that. Right, okay, I've been playing about with a metal with just the vice and a few hammers and I've got this sort of shape at the moment. As you can see, it's got a few kickbacks in it. It's pretty, pretty dented. I've only just sort of done the best I can with the tools I've got, basically. But uh, I've just tried it. It's pretty pretty good. I've got to shave a bit off between here and here. So just, just to get the right angle. And once it's in place, I can just tap that back into place, basically. So uh, I've got a few more little things to do. And let me grind this panel down to where I need it and then uh, there's a few more tweaks I've got to do so let's let's get on with it it's not going to be perfect but it's going to be the a job that's all I'm saying right okay <laughs> so, I should draw a line down there so I can see how much I'm taking off but, hold on for a minute one thing I'm one thing I'm distinctly short of down here is black marker pens so I'm just going to Put a bit of tape where I think I need to be and then just sand to that line.
Right, okay, so all I've been basically doing is just dressing it with, to get these creases in here is with that flat end of that hammer there, hitting between the the uh, the gap there, so to speak. So all I've done is sort of gone around it like that. And uh, let's give me what I've got there. It's not too bad. But then I've got to, uh, I allowed longer, because this is the bit that's gonna curve over. I might just cut that off there and then make that bit afterwards. So I'll probably end up doing that. That's why I've gone right down to the bottom there. So that gives me a start anyway. So. And about here somewhere, I'll put a mark there. It kicks in, or it kicks out rather. So I've got to sort of do that somehow. Again, not too quite sure how yet, but uh, if I close that in now, I think that sort of something like that. I'm not sure. If I do it that way, maybe. Yeah, well it's starting to look like it should do. As you can see from a flat bit of metal without any proper bench uh, dollies or whatever. We've got the basic shape there I think. And don't forget as I say we're going to give it a thin skim of filler afterwards. So I've still got some dressing to do. But let's take it outside now and just have a little quick look and just see if it's anywhere near. Right, okay, let's have a little look at this. Again, it's going to need dressing and bending or whatever, but... Well, that's not too bad. It's somewhere in the ballpark. Let's put it that way. I'm quite happy with that. Let's show you. So that's that line I put in there. Look, so there was a little bit of a kickback there. I got it in the right place. And uh, it's not too far out, to be honest with you. I'm pretty pleased with it. As I say, it's got to be dressed. And it's kinking out at the top there, as you can see. Look, I've got a big gap at the top there. But it's only where it needs pushing back in, so to speak. And, or the bottom. Well, it's just slightly twisted, basically. But what I'm more interested in is this sort of curved line down there. And the relief coming back onto my panel, which is what I was after. So, as I said to you, what I might do is just cut this off along the bottom here. Because this bit, I've got to fold under. And uh, I can't fold it under yet because I've still got this return on there. As you can see, look, for the actual inner wheel arch. So that's near enough what I've got at the moment. As I say, it needs a bit more dressing, but uh, give me a chance to do that and uh, I'll come back. I've noticed it kicks back there as well, look. So I've got a mark there where my thumbnail is and just kick it back a bit to kick back like this bit here. Right, let me do that and uh, I'll come back to you when I've done or got some sort of order out of this, hopefully. See you shortly. All right, okay, so I've just cut along there now. Because as you know, that uh, top bit was bigger than the original bit. So I've just cut along there and just pull this back. And as you can probably see, this um, bottom edge here is like, a, like a, an adhesive glue, which they put on there. So that's all got to come off. And that's how they stick the lower edge of the wing on because when I took the other side off this was as I say this was all stuck along there so that's just something to be aware of I'll have to clean back further than that like up here a bit more because all that glue as I say is all along that seam there but uh, the reason why I've cut that I've also cut that bottom bit off there that was going to curl under there, I'll put that on afterwards and I've got to put a panel inside there as you know but I think you'll see now that we're actually getting somewhere near where we need where we need to be a bit more to trim out here but let's do that now, that was just the seam let's have a look, let's have a little look oh that's not too bad is it? there you go you get the idea. 
And don't forget, once we get a skim of filler over that, we'll uh, straighten it out, like get a few tacks in it first, like along here for example. If I tack that in there, and then I can still dress, dress it sort of thing, you know? Still got some dressing to do, but uh, it's a lot better than definitely what it was. And as I say, I've not actually spent any money apart from just using some old sheet metal that I've had. And uh, I'm sure we can dress that with a bit of filler. And my bare minimum tools, what I've got for shaping metal. I haven't got any English wheels or anything like that, but uh, I'm sure you'll agree that uh, it's a lot better than having a load of rust there. Right, well, let me do a bit more then, and uh, I'll come back to you when I'm a bit further down the line. So what I'm thinking I'll do with this bit, just to create that inner wing there, is if I cut a bit, which is, I don't know, six centimetres, gives me a bit over, that'll come on the inside lap there, you see. And if I cut a bit six centimetres long, by the whole length of this, which is, let's say, nine inches, and bend it into shape, then I can tack that in there, or, or weld that in there rather, and then lay this on top, and that'll give me my support from the inside, which I can fill with seam sealer. So that's what I intend to do there, as I say, because I haven't got any of this high impact adhesive, what they use, before they actually push it on. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'll do. So I'll cut one six centimetres wider strip, sort of curve it, and then hopefully that will sit on the inside. So I'm going to make that bit up, put that in first, and we'll have a look at that when I've done it. Right, okay, well, it's getting a bit dark out here now for filming, but I'll just show you what I've been up to. You saw that last bit on time lapse. I've uh, got carried away as I always do and just forgot to film certain bits. So, what you're seeing now is the end result of today. I'm, I'm going to carry this on obviously tomorrow. I'll have to get, get out here tomorrow and uh, have another go, but uh, let's show you a bit nearer the world. And that's what we've got. I've got to grind all this down here, obviously, and don't forget, I'll It'll be a skimmer filler over all of this, so all these little ripples in this metal, which I've dressed, so to speak, as crudely as I can, will uh, all disappear. So I'm not too worried about that. I've got to come down here, obviously. I've got to finish off down here, as you can see. I've got a bit of a big gap there, but I can backfill that. That's not a problem. And we'll obviously make up the bottom curve as well. But as you can probably see there now, we've got a return, um, which I've just got to finish off and dress. I've just got to tap this in a bit more, basically. But as you can see we've got pretty much a rear wheel quarter in there and that is solid as a rock there as you can probably see there so i'll finish that off tomorrow dress it and then as i say it's just a skim of filler and just finish off around the other little bits around here as well so and i think we can call that done i've just got to make this little bit for the bottom here as well the little curve underneath there as well a bit of an idea as I say we'll be skimming right over the top of that as you can see that will be skimmed right over the top and even around to the wheel arch as well and uh, that will do the blink job I'm telling you that'll do the job a bit more dressing happy days well that's it for the day I've done the best I can with the equipment I've got I'm not a proper panel beater I haven't got any panel beating equipment apart from a few hammers and that and uh Again, we've only got this shape. We made this shape for I look going over to the other wing on the other side, the rear wing, cutting out a template and then dressing the metal and then trying to get this shape anyway. But I think it's pretty good. It looks okay to me anyway. And as I say, once you get the body filler over the top and uh, dress it, fill it, paint it, it's going to look okay.
Right, I'll leave this one here for now. I'll see you in the next video, and until then, bye for now.